Well, it's cold as a witch's heart. Um, here we are. I waited all day and night and night and day to get to this throttle cable. I was uh, pulling on it a little bit and it snapped. Went in to drive it somewhere and the, uh, the thing decided it didn't want to work for me anymore. So we gotta switch it. So we gotta get in here. Oh my goodness. At this thing. Right there. See it? That is the correct way. Basically, we're just gonna pull it. Ha! And then yank on it. Because it done bust it. Oh! Look at And we're gonna put it in the same way it came out. And hopefully, it'll go right through the tube. Dun, dun, dun. However, I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks on it. A little uh, lubricant to help it out. And uh, we're finally going to get this bad boy over next door so I can park in my garage again. Oh, thanks for letting me know the door is open now. Never would have guessed. So for this year, ooh, let's get you in the light. Gosh darn it, Cletus! Alright, let's get you in the light. But I ordered, this is a 74 normal beetle. It is not a super beetle. Super beetle is a little bit longer um, because that's how they were made. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit bigger. And we're gonna, we're gonna unwrap this and we're gonna put some lube on it. Lube! Cause I'm a fourth grader, that's right. Um, I'm probably just going to use some high temp disc brake wheel bearing grease because <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, you can really use anything, 3M, um, stuff like that. You could even use some oil on it if you really want to. Um, oh, shit. You could use even oil on it if you want to. Just get it a little greasy so it goes through this. You do not want excess on it. Also, to keep yourself clean, you're going to put it back in the box when you're done. Then you can carry it around and feed it through as you're going. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so this is all it is. Obviously that goes in, obviously, yeah, like, well, for people who don't know, that's going to go into the pedal. And that's going to go into the carburetor, or the throttle puller thingy. My jigger pulls the throttle down. Um, and that's where that's going to go. So... Basically, all they did was tie it around, tie it around itself. Um, it is important to get the right length. If you don't get the right length, what will happen is it'll go in and it'll be too far or too short. You can get universal ones where you can cut it, and then I think it's some sort of clamp item. I've never dealt with it, but I have heard of it. Um, I know a successful couple, actually, on the... I don't remember the website. The one with the air-cooled website, the two guys. It's a pretty good website. Check it out. <laughs> I'll see if I can put a link down in the linky thing um, so you guys can go to it, but um, it's helpful. So it's universal. You can clamp it on or clink it on or whatever. Um, you can go that route if you don't know or you just don't feel like finding out. So, yeah, I'm going to put that, a little bit of that on it. And then I'm going to pop it back in the box, and I'm going to feed it from the box, and I'll meet you in the car. It's over there. And just, just to show you how I do it, in case Cletus can't make it into the car with us, to show you with all his magical light, I put it right through that hole, and then I'll feed it through. Um, so this one actually has a tube that leads through the inner tube. Yeah, I think I said that right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed it through that tube. Oh my goodness. You only turn on one. I love you. Ah, light. Boom. See the tube? That's your tube. And it's going to feed through there. And if you saw, right? That end first. You always want to feed it this way. You do not want to feed it from the back um, because that is an S-curved, um, an S-curved 
item. So basically you're just feeding it through. See how it goes out of there? It's nice and simple. There is that noise again. Why would you do that to me? No. Half this video is gonna be me turning off this dang button. Now, guys, I'll try to do this as fast as possible because that is the most annoying sound I've ever heard. Oh, my lanta. I feel bad for this video. We are almost there. So I'm just guessing that it's going to go through the tube next to the clutch tube. I know we've looked at it a couple times. If I need to, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We have hit a spot, and that's probably where we are. Awesome. All right. Let's take a look at that. There's no key in you. I don't understand. I gotta put another coat on, too. Get my thing out here and lift it up a little bit. All right, so what we're looking at here is the underneath. That is the plow. What are we looking at? Oh, there you go. Now, do you see it? Is it anywhere? I think it's that little line running to the left. So the tube was all hooked up and muddy. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see it? I don't. Shoot. It's supposed to be through that little hole. What? But that's right where I wanted it. Say hi guys. Hi. Alright, I really jammed it through. Cletus the light every time, my goodness. And there it is. Boop. You can see the old one. I haven't gotten that out. That. Oh my goodness. So this is the new one. That's the old one. Uh, this is a tracking. This is an 8 millimeter. So we're going to whoop this out. And we're going to show you how to put the other one in. Um, so I went underneath. Everything looked good under there. Uh, so what I did was I pulled it out, shoved it back in, pulled it out, shoved it back in, pulled it out, shoved it back in. And that, and that worked pretty good. Um, so, seriously. Um, so that's what I did. Look at all that delicious heat coming in. That's, that's my breath. Okay. I swear to goodness, button. Alright. Before it goes off. So do not... Don't go from this side. That's bad news bears. That won't line up with your tube. You gotta go like that. Put in there. And then straighten her out. Bam. Um, a couple things. So this will rub on it. Um, I'm going to, in the future, move this tube a little bit out so it faces right into where I want. But that's, that's how you do it. That is the right, correct way of doing it. So do it that way, please, 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 please. And then I'll actually move that tube so this doesn't rub. I didn't see anything on the old one, but just in case. So, eight millimeter. It is loud out here. I thought I could do it and get away with it. Uh, eight millimeter right there. Whoop. Oh. Well, first you gotta have it the right way. Um, you can see it moving really freely. That's exactly what you want. Do not want it to be tight in there. So if it is tight, um, you gotta make sure that you're, you're, uh, you loosen this. See how there's, see how there's two there? You gotta either open it up or close it down to get that ball in there. Make sure it's smooth, no bars on it or anything and make it look good. Um, this seems to be a two-man job. I'll bring you back to uh, show you how to kind of get in there and, 
and get the new one in there so it's at a good spot. All right. All right, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna find the, find the openness, see it open. We're gonna take this and put it through there. And then it's gonna take two hands to actually do this. Um, so I'm gonna have to put you down, but I'm gonna explain it to you. Um, so a lot of people have specs on it. I found on both of those that if I pull real hard with one hand, put it on with the other, I get really good first movement on it, on the pedal. I get good uh, good movement on the pedal and good reaction time. Because you want a little play at first. You don't want to touch the pedal and have it fly off on you. Oh my goodness, this is way harder with one hand than I ever thought it was. Of course it's all crazy back here. Oh, my hands are lubed up. That could be why. Oh my goodness, could someone help? I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Oh my, I don't even know if I could, you know, with two hands. All right, we're gonna go right-handed. See if I can get, Right hand to do something a little better. Problem is, it's the, it's, <laughs> you can't even see. Uh, the problem is, is it's exactly correct. So it's only gonna go through that hole just a little bit. There's no stretch in it. There's no nothing. All right, I'm gonna get some needle nose. Maybe get that to go through the darn thing. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna have to do it without you. Sorry guys. Alright, so got it in there. Tighten her up. Let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going as far as it should. Oh, well, maybe it does. Let's go check the back. So there's no interference. Uh, there we go. You can see she's right in there. Nice. Again, um, I had to pull from the back, but as tight as I could to get it to go in there. So let's make sure there's no interference. No, that's going all the way. That's uh, not. That's. Yeah, it's going. All right. We're going to start her up and see if I can get her next door. All right, guys. That's all there is to it. Nice and easy. Um, so for this, I actually used a needle nose pliers. Pulled it out as far as I could. I wasn't yanking on it like a crazy person, but I was, I was pulling so it was stiff. And then I, uh, and then eight millimeter right there tracking. And then eight millimeter right there. And then that came right in. My last one was all the way at the other end of the pin. So it was probably ready anyway. It was stretched or whoever put that one in was a little bit longer than it should have been. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love an easy one. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Subscribe below. Down there somewhere. Hit the bell. Hit a like. Um, and have a great day. Thanks, guys. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, and my lights came on. Bop, bop, bop. That is just beautiful.